Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for the month of April 2021. These are general readings only, just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So um, I've just come home from work, I'm trying to get some of these done this week after work so that they can be uploaded and um, yeah, done for you for April. So I'll do the Spirit Animal Oracle, the Moontology Oracle, Celtic Cross Reading which does include reversals. Each card will be clarified and finish with the Star Temple Oracle. So we'll begin. Aries, you get number 66, White Raven Spirit, Trust in the Magic. Love that. Beautiful. Okay. Trust. Putting that trust and that faith into some sort of magic, some sort of manifestation, making that a reality. Have faith and trust in that magic. Beautiful. Okay, so Aries, Moontology. You get the new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Okay, by trusting in the magic, you can work through those fears love that beautiful match usually i use the other cards for the monthly reading but they're packed away and back out in the shed somewhere so <laughs> i came home from work i have the leg brace off or knee brace off and i thought no i'm going to get these done get them sorted so i'm using these same cards i use for the weeklies Okay, so Aries, April 2021. Okay, so overall for the month, you get the Seven of Cups. It is upright, so it's all about the choices and options available to you. So as you choose one option, seven more appear. You choose one option here, seven more appear. It's all about cho um, choosing what's right for you, checking each one out carefully and um, selecting from there. Present energy, you've got the Prince of Wands. It is reversed, so you may, your vision may be a bit closed off towards your dream and your goal of where you're actually heading towards. It is crossed with the Hermit, could be dealing with a Virgo, but maybe you're needing some um, soul searching, some self-reflection and meditation. Allow that light to shine at the end of the tunnel and head you into that clear direction that you're wanting to go. Your strength area is the five of five of swords. It is re reversed, so it's in a, in a battle. It's a battle card, okay? But you're just fighting an internal battle at the moment. It, um, it's taking up a lot of your strength. We will clarify that um, and try and get it up right because either way, that is a victory card. Above you, you've got the nine of nine of cups. I was going to say nine of pentacles. No, it's the nine of cups. Emotional love and happiness and stability there. Love it, and you can see it right in front of you. Past energies, you've got the moon reversed, so it could be dealing with a Pisces. It's talking about hidden fears, so very maybe very fearful in the past of where you're actually heading towards, or that you're not heading towards somewhere where you're wanting to actually be. Okay, so things may have been a bit darker and a bit greyer and um, that moon wasn't really showing you a clear way forward back there in the past energies. Incoming energies, you've got the Princess of Swords, it is reversed, we will try and get that upright as well, but um, not wanting to go forward, not wanting to take on some sort of challenge, you don't feel like you're ready for what you're going to be heading towards or um, you know, and it may still be that you're working through your fears here. Okay, what you need to know is the King of Wands, it is upright. You need to know that you can get that control of your dreams and your goals back into your life and um, have that strong energy of knowing where you're going to be heading, heading towards. How others see you is the Prince of Swords. It is reversed. You've also, we've just done the Princess. Okay, so maybe going rushing in, maybe being too hasty and um, not slowing down and thinking things through clearly and others are seeing you as just jumping in before any plans and details are being put into place here. Come back maybe to the Seven of Cups and look at the options carefully. 
okay hopes and fears is justice it is reverse could be dealing with a libra but feeling like something's not fair this outcome isn't for you um, you know it should be happening and it doesn't seem to be happening again working through your fears starting to trust in this magic here okay allowing this to work with you okay and get that justice turned up right because you finish with love two of cups there's somebody on this journey with you you may be meeting them brand new maybe somebody significant maybe somebody existing but there is love here in the final outcome so love that okay so Aries we'll see what the clarifications have for each of these cards Starting with the Seven of Cups, all these choices and options. The Chariot, Judgment, and the Five of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer, but um, getting yourself into alignment, you may have been pulled in different directions in the past, and that Chariot doesn't move anywhere. So getting yourself back into alignment in order to move forward, and it comes with having to keep an open mind, and keeping an open mind when it comes to all these options available to you, okay? Rather than being focused on the one that keeps ending up in this energy here, maybe um, choosing something different that's going to set you off on a different course. Okay, so your present energies, Prince of Wands reversed, you get the Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Is that emotional love and happiness right in front of you there? Getting control and back and getting to... Hang on, I'll say that again. Getting your control back and getting back into balance within, maybe. Okay, but proud of your achievements, how far you've come. Quite protective of what you've earned along the way. And the Hermit gets the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Two of Cups. There is success here when it comes to being up for the challenge. Maybe up for the challenge when it involves love. You've got the Two of Cups in your final outcome as well. So as I said, maybe somebody already existing. Maybe somebody brand new. Strength area is the Five of Swords reversed. You get the Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. This brand new successful beginning here, getting control of your dreams and where you're heading towards. And there is the Seven of Wands, persistence, don't give up. So turning that battle card upright, and I think you're staying and persisting with something here and um, getting that victory that way. Love it. Above you, you've got the Nine of Cups with Justice, Ace of Wands, and Two of Swords. Again, could be dealing with a Libra, could be an apology on the cards. Okay, the fairness is coming back in. Good karma, good results for your effort, successful outcome. Maybe coming with having to take the blindfold off and not being stuck at that crossroads anymore. Getting that brand new dream and that brand new goal to head towards. Okay, Aries, Moon in reversed in the past energy, you get the Nine of Swords, Four of Cups, and Six of Wands. Yeah, you were focused and quite stubborn, just focusing on one particular area, and it brought a lot of overthinking and a lot of stress and anxiety. But you got yourself together and allowed yourself to start moving forward, letting that moon shine that path, um, maybe done under cover of darkness, letting that moon shine up, or um, done in secret, but there is movement forward, so love that. Okay, so your incoming energy is the Princess of Swords, reversed. You get the Emperor, Ten of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Aries, but very strong masculine energy, very much in control of the situation, and getting that Princess of Swords turned upright. So you're up for the challenge to finish this pain, maybe some gossip and backstabbing that's been happening, and it does still leave you coming out clinging on or hanging on to something here but allowing a lot of that energy to be released and um, and you come out with what you're needing to move forward what you need to know king of wands you get the page of wands three of cups and the full yeah seeing that vision and dream come towards you you've got control of that dream and where you're heading towards and i think you're going to take a chance and a leap of faith 
okay and start taking off now and heading towards that goal you've got the three of cups something to celebrate whether that's virtually online with friends and family or meeting in person but some sort of successful outcome um, from having control of your dreams and where you're going beautiful so how mothers see you Aries Prince of Swords reversed you get the King of Cups Eight of Pentacles and the world okay getting control of your emotions working really hard focused and dedicated but don't turn your back on everything else that you um, that you remain reversed with that Prince of Swords there let this world start turning for you turning in your favor giving you some momentum divine timing but that will allow that that card to turn up right now Okay, so um, your hopes and fears, something's not right, something's not fair here for you, justice reversed, you get the lovers, seven of cups and the knight of pentacles, could be dealing with um, Gemini, soulmate, twin flame, somebody significant, okay, there's options here, we've got that overall for the month, okay, so starting to ch um, choose what's right for you, and again, look, taking the time, look at each cup, look at each option, and um, allow that to, to be the direction that you're taking but also knowing there's patience required slowest card in the pack that's somebody significant there with the lovers maybe coming on offer to work with you but it's very slow moving energy and your final outcome the two of cups you get temperance the star and the six of wands beautiful love that okay not over and indulging in things doing things in moderation your hopes and your wishes are starting to come through Okay, especially when it comes to love and there's a victory okay a win outcome when it comes to love with that two of cups there okay could be a job you love could be a house you love but it could be somebody significant okay so the universe says the tower king of cups and the deceiver okay so releasing all this energy that you don't need in order to build a solid and brand new foundation okay you've got control of your emotions you know where you're heading towards now there may still be some sort of negative energy that is still hanging around maybe dealing with a capricorn but you're feeling bound to that energy still so let this love kick in here because you come out with that victory when it comes to the two of cups love okay and allow that to break this energy up and allow you to move forward and that on its own may be the working through your fears of breaking this energy up finally okay so Aries we'll finish with the star temple okay and you get number 14 the lost star rebirth out of the darkness into the light love that beautiful definitely out of this darkness here and into this light here and into this light as well trusting in the magic okay Aries so that's what I have for April 2021 I do hope it helped if you click this like and subscribe button down here and thanks for watching I'll see you next time see ya bye